Congratulations on your promotion, Herr Field Marshal. Finally, we answer to no one on the battlefield. But put down that champagne and prepare yourself. Our long voyage across the Atlantic is nearly at an end. With the fully unified Europe secure, High Command has ordered an invasion against our last enemy, the United States of America. Preparations were carried out in extreme secrecy, so you should expect minimal initial resistance to your landing. The American Atlantic Fleet is currently out of position, but Kriegsmarine Force Y under Großadmiral Dönitz has been placed at your disposal to protect the invasion force from their eventual intervention. Our top political analysts believe that a strike against the U.S. capital will quickly break the American will to resist. To ensure this, you are required to secure all of your objectives, including Washington, D.C. All of Germany anticipates your victory and a swift final end to this war. Do not fail us now, Herr Field Marshal. Well, hello and welcome back to Panzer Corps. It has been, yeah, quite a long time, I know. There was a lot of work for me, so I simply didn't have the time or, yeah, sometimes the energy to do another episode till now. But I'm trying to, yeah, establish a schedule where I do an episode in the morning whenever possible. So I hope to keep more videos coming again, but it's not always that easy to fit that into my yeah, time schedule. So let's see, we are at the US scenarios, um, success, successfully reached them. Um, yeah, we, yeah, let's take a look first. We have a lot of new equipment and that's going to be expensive. Yeah, the downside of most of those tanks is that they are slow as hell. Um, three movement range, four movement range. Yeah, five is okay. The Panther is very quick. That's great. And the Jagdpanzer four. No, we don't want that. Yeah, the Jagdpanzer very quick. So this is a nice equipment. Yeah, and the Jagdtiger. This is a beast, uh, almost indestructible, uh, but very slow. I'm not sure how we are going to mix those. And we have a lot of new fighters available, um, especially the Skota ones. Um, those are experimental planes. Um, yeah, some of them were actually planned. Um, some are more concepts or fiction. I don't know about this one, for example, um, or this one here, but they're very strong and we will need those. The American Air Force is a force to reckon with. So yeah, let's see what we can afford, I would say. Now let's take a look at the strategic, strategic situation first. Um, that's another naval landing operation. The, yeah, the, those are destroyers, but we have, will have to scout if there are some U-boats hiding behind our back. And the American fleet so, should be somewhere around here, we heard. So I think we are going to pull back our fleet for now. Um, we are to spread out. And our only goal is to protect our invasion fleet. Moreover, I think it's best to yeah, keep those units in the back for some turns actually, because there will be some yeah, very, very strong air raids. Um, there are coastal batteries. We already see that we have once again, the radar stations, so nearing the coast right now, I think that's too dangerous. I want to fight um, the enemy planes in the open here, where they're not supported by radar uh, and hopefully run into 
our defensive fire and yeah and then <laughs> once we have dealt with them we're going to land we have a lot of time because we don't have to do a decisive victory here um yeah there are quite spread out victory locations and a lot of targets to take but once you break the initial resistance on the coastline, um, there's only four, no four, four knocks left, but the others will be more or less undefended. Yeah, but now for upgrades. We obviously want to reinforce everything first. Well, a little jump ahead because it took me almost half an hour to work out um, my my upgrades and my positioning so let's skip that and yeah i will explain what i've done here so let's see where is our unit list here it is um we obviously upgraded everything i bought one extra uh, one over strength point for all of them uh just in order we can afford some more losses and we will get more of an initial punch i left the infantry untouched they are still the same then since we don't have any movement heroes on our tanks i got no mouse and three tiger twos only uh, we will need them to break the heavy american tanks and anti-tank can um, anti-tank weapons like the wolverine and yeah the the panthers are for speed obviously uh, i think i have chosen those defense heroes yeah not all of them but yeah the sc units can hold their own uh we kept our flam panzer did a great job i upgraded to jagd panthers we kept the artillery as is. We could afford all goaters here for the fighters. We kept the fighter bombers and I didn't upgrade my level bombers as well. They are still the, uh, the Junkers, uh, the newer version now. But I think there will be enough to break the American Navy. And we have absolutely no prestige to spare and I didn't buy a unit. So we still have, yeah, four units we could buy, but we have no prestige for that. We will maybe buy them once we take cities, but we will see. I think we can do it like is. So finally, <laughs> the mission is about to start and I'm, yeah, a little bit nervous and a little bit excited. Uh, yeah dump a little bit very excited to finally do this so let's immediately jump into the game and we have great weather that's good and yeah the first couple of turns turns will be decisive here i guess so like i already said in the intro we will keep our yeah naval forces or our landing forces like they are for now um, and yeah, we will have to do a little bit of scouting. There are some dark spots here where there can be submarines or destroyers in the hiding. And we don't want any units in our back. So we'll take a look at that immediately. And we already found one of the submarines here. Let's hope we can take it out. Yeah, great work on that. But we will keep checking. Yeah, it seems we're safe back here. We cannot reach this light cruiser, I think. Nope, we cannot reach any other units. And 
yeah there shouldn't be any more units left here so we will do a final check back here but I think we should be safe now and now I want to withdraw my navy units and we have to keep out of range of those fours um, they have a vision range of five which is pretty much a lot that's massive so we'll withdraw to this line we will be safe there but I definitely want to keep out of their spotting range so maybe we can damage it yep but <laughs> that doesn't help a lot um yeah five but we do want to move our heavy ships in a position where we can fire at the fleet they're most likely going to advance along the coast so if they cannot see us they will get pounded here but unfortunately there's nothing else we can hit so let's see if we can get rid of this light cruiser yeah didn't do it So that's a little bit unfortunate because now I cannot withdraw my submarine. Um, we have to guard it with a fighter and we have to protect our level bomber here. Yeah, but other than that, we are going to withdraw our forces. Maybe move a little bit to the south. I don't know where they are coming and we have dark spots in the north yeah nothing there but there could be forces up there so we will make sure not to get surprised here and yeah I think there will be a radar station somewhere here so it might be a good idea one two three four mm. that's unfortunate i don't want to withdraw that much but on the other hand i don't want to expose my ships but they're very unlikely to go for uh, the infantry here so might be a good idea let's assume one is here one two three four five yeah maybe we can trap them like this if they want to try to go for one of my artillery units so this one yeah will stay here this way we have more options for movement this one can stay as well and I think we're done for the first turn and let's hope for the best yeah first trap worked out perfectly fine one of those um let's see those are p47 ants they're great units and they have a lot of experience on them so yeah maybe they did a lot of fighting against the japanese but yeah we will have trouble fighting them the gotas should be able to deal with them but they're not easy to deal with 
Yeah, we have to get rid of this destroyer here. And then we will send our heavy battleship. Could be... Yeah, they have no name on it. This is the Graf Zeppelin. Could be the Beastmark, but we don't know for sure. And yeah, let's see. I think we're going to stay in a defensive position like this. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Maybe we'll do it like this and hope they will ignore. Yeah, maybe they are going for the Flampanzer. So we'll do it like this. Uh, we are not in a hurry here, so that's what we have going for us. But we definitely have to eliminate their spotting ability. So one plane down and let's hope they're running the next wave into us. And yeah, let's see. We have to take out the submarine here. Ah, it did a wait, that's bad news. We cannot bomb this, this is bad news as well. We have to get rid of it. Yeah, that worked out. Now we can use our destroyers for scouting. Uh, we don't know what's here. So... Hmm, that's tricky. So I want to stay out of vision range, but on the other hand, I want to get rid of those units. So if I move my capital ships in, they're getting pounded. So that's not a good idea. What we could do... Yeah, we will risk one scout. Ah. Whew, that worked out perfectly. That as well. So... Yeah, that's nice. So now... Another of their destroyers is gone, so we are aiming for their eyes, actually. And... Yeah, we have to deal with this submarine somehow. At least it cannot move now.
Yeah, that won't do it. If I sand in the Stuka, they will destroy it. That's for sure. Yeah, that was not great. But I think we're still in a good defensive position here. Let's keep the fuel coming in. And let's send in another destroyer, just in order to deal with the submarine. Okay, Whew. <laughs> let's see. I think now we have to expect heavy air attacks. So let's hope we're positioned correctly. Yeah, I can live with that. I can live with that. Three, three battleships. I can live with that. We waited. Yeah, and the traps work perfectly. Ooh, so now we're actually in a good position. Um, we cannot hit anything, that's a problem. So we need more scouting information. But now the weather is working against us. That's not great either. And we have to get rid of the enemy fleet here immediately. Well, now at least the submarines are gone um, and we have this zone under control here. Now we only have to deal with the big capital ships. They're positioned somewhere here or here maybe. But we can't deal with them. Um, now we have to take out the enemy air force. Mustangs. Okay, that worked out nicely. We have three fighters down. Yeah, perfect. Four fighters down.
And we cannot deal with this squadron. But we can't damage those two. So we have to still worry about those. They can hit us badly. So I think what we were going to do is we will stay for another turn here. And we hope we can trap some more of them. Ah, we have one left here. Um, nope. I think the invader is not that bad. So maybe we can trap another unit here. Fortress down. So we will keep this one here. Maybe they are trying to bomb it. That would be not, no. They won't bomb it because they see this one. That's bad. Yeah, but nothing to do for us right now. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have not enough units to guard everything here. So maybe we are relocating this to this position and yeah those are prime targets so we will keep it like this um, and then we have to think about stopping the enemy fleet One, two three four i think they're going to come towards us anyway so yeah let's stay this and Let's wait for the final air attacks. I think none of the enemy units escaped so far. This is not that bad and we have to deal with those. Yeah, it's okay. That's okay. Yeah, wasting another shot. Wasting another shot. We only lost the light cruiser so far. Wow, that's four battleships. Perfectly trapped. Okay, that's very bad. Didn't expect it won't protect. Um, uh, 
Ja, det är måsten. Eat it by the fortress. That's very bad news. We have to gang up on it. That was not too bad. <laughs> That's great. Cannot reach anything that's bad. Yeah, six damage on the battleship. That's very helpful. Okay, um, that are tense movements here. And I don't want this one to get away. So now I think we should have dealt with the enemy air force. Um, I think one Marauder, it's cold, is gone. Uh, is is still out there somewhere. And now we simply have to slug it out. Block them from advancing. And deal with them one by one. There's still a destroyer left, but that's not dangerous anymore. Yeah, now I think it's time to start our landing operations. Yeah. Worked out great, I think. A little bit more losses than I would hoped on on this one, but we will upgrade him to to America Bomber um, next time, anyways. So not too bad, actually. Still a fighter here. Yeah, but um, okay. Now we have some vision here. The carriers are extremely great for scouting purposes, and there is a radar station here. So I expected it to be here or here. And we knew it was there because they could see us, but the traps did the job. 
And yeah, before we start the landing, the actual landing here, um, we are going to make a short break and yeah, see you when we send in the landing craft and watch them get sunk by coastal batteries that for sure are somewhere in the background. And let's not forget, there's still one Marauder left. Maybe it uses one of the close um, uh, airfields here. But other than that, I hope the US Air Force is dealt with. Yeah, that would be great. That leaves three battleships and a heavy cruiser and one destroyer we know of. I think, yeah, the Kriegsmarine can finish them off, hopefully. With support from the air, at least. And yeah, then we simply have, have to make our way in, inland and capture New York and capture Washington. And yeah, Richmond, and then I think we're good to go. So, yeah. Hope you've learned something from that. Keep the invasion forces in the back and then go forward. <laughs> it has to be proven if it's successful and that we're not running out of time, but I think we can do it. So see you, bye.